Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Smart Bear Community Interviews. This interview is part of the Zephyr online event. Over the course of this event, you will not only meet the Zephyr team, but will also learn a lot of cool stuff. We will talk about the future of test management, current trends, and of course, we're going to take a deep dive into the Zephyr tools themselves. Our today's guest is Vitor Peliza, and he is a senior engineering manager for Zephyr Scale at Smart Bear. And I'm really excited to learn more about Vitor. And for those of you who don't know, Zephyr Scale is a scalable advanced test management solution for Jira. So let's start this interview. Hi, Vitor, how are you? Hi, I'm very well. How are you, Sonia? I'm doing quite well. Thank you so much for asking. Um, I only gave you a really brief introduction. So could you speak more? Could you introduce yourself uh, to our viewers and explain like what's your day-to-day -day job at Smart Bear? Yeah, sure, absolutely. So yes, well, my name is Vitor and um, I am the engineering manager of Zephyr Scale. And um, well, my day-to-day -day job is very connected to management tasks. So I help the, the, the development team to to organize the, the deliveries, uh, organize the backlog. I work with the people basically. So um, I, I would say my job is very connected to both technical and and the people, you know, so, so both sides of the coin, which is pretty nice. I really love that. Mm -hmm. And um, could you tell us more about your background and how did you become part of Smart Bear? Right. Well, I um, I joined Smart Bear about a year ago, when mm -hmm. Zephyr Scale was was actually acquired from, from another company. It used to be called TM4J, then it changed to, to Zephyr Scale. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, well, that that's the short answer. But the long answer is that I am working with Zephyr Scale for a very long time now, since uh, 2014. Oh, when wow. my business partner at that time and I, we created the first version of Zephyr Scale. Um, so yes, we co-created the tool in 2014. And, um, and it's been a pretty long way since 2014 till, till now. I, I think the product really evolved a lot over the years. Thanks for the answer. And uh, back to your day-to-day -day work, what is the most rewarding part of it? Okay, right. Um, well, that's a good question. I think the most rewarding part would be, um, you know, when we can really see and understand the impact that we, um, of the things that we create, the things we are working on. So when we release a new version, for example, and, uh, and get feedback from customers, and, um, and then we can validate that that really made a change for, for better on, on their day-to-day -day work or may, perhaps we made someone more efficient with their work. I think that's very rewarding, you know, really hearing fr from the customer, uh, getting feedback from the customer. I think that's the most rewarding part, I would say. Yes, that's a great answer. I'm talking a lot uh, to Smart Bear employees and almost everyone answers kind of the same thing that working <laughs> with people and seeing the impact is the most rewarding part but it is so because you know uh, we try to help people run their businesses better and um, yeah that's a great Absolutely. answer really um, and what resources do you usually use to self-educate online education is a big thing now but maybe you just like you know more analog type of thing like reading books or <laughs> what do you prefer yeah, well, I think that would be more of my style, really. I, I would say books are my primary source for, for self-education, really. Um, I, I really like to read books about um, or related to management, engineering, productivity. Um, mm -hmm. But I also like to um, put in the mix some, some different subjects as well, or, or things not only connected with my day-to-day -day work, like a a fiction book or a romance um yeah I, I really like that and um yes i think that books would be my primary source of, of self-learning really and um and then for more general self-education or perhaps for more specific um things for example learning a new language or learning a new framework then yes then i i um i try to find online courses 
or, or do something like that because it's pretty accessible these days, right? It, it's quite cheap to, to buy a, a very decent course on the internet. So mm -hmm. I do that for more specific things, basically. Mm -hmm. I see. I, I also like how you mentioned that you not only read some technical stuff or um, something educational about business and management, but also you sometimes read a novel. And it's important because we're always talking, we're, we're so like focused on work, but actually I think our brain really needs some rest sometime, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes. Sometimes, And that's because I do the same thing, basically. I would, you know, just read something really easy just to give myself a rest. That's, okay. that's a great idea. Yeah, and I think these moments when you can really get a rest and maybe change your, your, your focus and, um, you know, unwind your, your brain a little bit, I think it gives you a different perspective for, for then how you, you know, um, do well on your work, for example. I think that, that has a positive influence in your work as well. Um, mm -hmm. but, um, but at the same time, it's a good balance. So yes, that's really good. Yep. Mm -hmm. And let's talk a bit about test management. This is a big area and it's quite a complicated one, I would say. So uh, what do you think lies in the future for test management? And most importantly, how Zephyr Scale is aligning with the trends? Uh, okay, right. Well, wow, that, that, that's a very big question, I would say. We could probably spend the whole day talking about this, right? <laughs> it's true. But, but yes, in, in my opinion, I think the future of testing in general is very connected to automation um, because no matter in what industry you are in, I think automation will always be like... Um, a more efficient and cost-effective way, way to test in software. Um, and um, yes, I, I really think that is where the, the future lies, you know, automation. And, um, and obviously there is a huge transition from manual testing to, to test automation. I wouldn't say that one of them is wrong or, or right. And sometimes a combination of both manual testing and automated testing is, is the best way to go. Um, but um, yes, I think the more automation we can do, probably the more efficient and cost-effective we can be. Um, so yes, I, I think in practical terms, there is a long way to go before we really see automation, the, the automation effort overcoming the manual um, testing activity mm -hmm. or the manual testing effort in, in the in industry, right? And, um, and also there will always be space for manual testing anyway, because, you know, I think when it requires more creativity, such as exploratory tests or, or a bit of a human touch to, uh, to, to testing, then that needs to be manual. You know, that's, that's always the cherry on top of an automation testing suite. So yes, basically, I, I think the future is a combination of manual testing and automation, more focus on automation with creative, um, the creative part uh, always uh, carried on by manual testing. Mm -hmm. so, so that's where I believe the, the future is. Uh, but, but now to test management and then maybe getting back to your initial question, more focused on test management, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think test management is a very important practice because no matter if you are currently doing like loads of manual testing or if you are in the process of migrating to manual testing, without test management, you kind of really don't know or, or, or you really struggle to, to make a plan of how to, to move from manual to automated. And, um, and I think test management helps a lot with this transition from, from manual to automated, you know? Um, yes, and Zephyr Scale is very suitable for, for this scenario because we are investing heavily on, on integration with automated tools. So you can pretty much see the combined effort of your manual and automated tests in one single tool. So, so then Zephyr Scale becomes your single source of truth. Mm -hmm. uh, inside Jira, so I would say it's the best tool inside Jira for, for test management, really, and, um, and for supporting this transition from manual to, to automated. 
I, uh, I'm not sure if that answers your question, Sonia. It does, it does perfectly. And uh, my last kind of a question, mm -hmm. uh, do you have any special message for the Zephyr community? Because, you know, uh, right now yeah. it's growing and it has been growing. We have a lot of people asking questions, answering questions there. So maybe you have a message. Ah, absolutely, yes. Well, that's a, a very interesting one. So yes, uh, either myself and, um, and other people from the team, we've been uh, trying to engage more and more with the community. And um, we've seen the community growing like a lot, really a yeah. lot is growing like it's crazy. Growing. And um, I really think that uh, we need to expand our operations around the, the community because not just because it's becoming a huge thing, um, but also because I believe it's a very important thing. It's a, it's a very good communication channel uh, between ourselves and customers. That's where we can, you know, discuss solutions with customers or, or even announce new, new things that are coming or, or, or ask for some feedback. So yes, if I could um, send a message to, to customers or, or, or if I may ask for, for anything, I, um, I really would firstly thank everyone for um, engaging like very, very nicely with the community. You know, we, we really love to, to hear what, what you have to say. Um, and also, we really love to, to help the way as we can. And um, yes, so please do more of that, you know, <laughs> get in touch with us, share your thoughts. And, um, and one thing that I really would like to see in the community is sometimes not just questions, but um, I really would like to see more stories, you know. Um, so if there is one thing that I could ask for, for the community would be, please share your story, you know, we are really keen to, to hear about it and um, to understand more about your scenario. I think that would be very helpful for us to understand how to evolve the product better, exactly. um, more than, you know, focusing on features or, or improvements, but really to understand how you are doing and uh, what are your future plans or if there is any, um, I don't know, challenge that you need to, to, to overcome and uh, we would really love to, to hear that and, uh, and to contribute uh, to your story as well. And um, so, yes, share with us. And uh, we are really keen to, to share with you as well. I guess that's my general message. Thank you. That's a beautiful message. And uh, I think that our interview is coming to an end. Thank you so much. It was extremely interesting to get to know you and the job you do. And um, thanks again, Vitor. Yeah, and you. see you in the Smart Bear community. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you very much for your Bye.